discussion about um, the St Michael's English Hub, what we do, um, what how we can support schools. It's just kind of a quick overview. So if you haven't heard anything about us, then this will be fab. If you have heard a little bit about us and want to know more, then also this is kind of the course for you as well. So. There we go. So Saint, uh, we are St. Michael's English Hub. We are one of 34 English hubs throughout the country. We are the most northern English hub and we cover a wide um, area. So we cover Durham, Newcastle, Gateshead, South Tyneside, North Tyneside and Northumberland. So if one of your if your skill falls in one of those areas, then that is how we can support you. There are other skills around close by that support kind of the Middlesbrough area. So if you are within one of those skills, just let us know. We can point you to the right English hub to, to kind of get in, in touch with. Um, we are very active on social media, so please follow us. We have um, a Twitter account, we have an Instagram account, and we also have a Facebook account. On there, there'll be lots of uh, our offer. So what we have, our CPD offer will be on there. Um, any uh, up and coming events will go on there. Um, good practice will go on there. So just join us so that you can kind of keep up to date with what we are doing as an English hub. So um, just a quick round of introductions. I am Stacey Rand. So I am the hub lead at the minute. There is two of us. There is normally Beth Dawson. So if some of you have had to, um, contact with the English Hub before, you might have had contact with Beth. Uh, Beth's currently on maternity leave. Um, you, she would just still send emails and be involved. So you might still see her around. But the minute kind of I'm hub lead. And Debbie, who is our CPD lead, who kind of let you in is I'll hand you over to Debbie so she can just say a little bit. She's not feeling very well, so she's yeah. going to take a quieter role today. I am. I'm going to milk this bout of COVID because last time I worked full time from home, so this <laughs> time I'm milking it, OK? So <laughs> I'm Debbie. I am the CPD lead for St Michael's English Hub. So I put together the CPD package and the CPD sessions. I work alongside Stacey and Beth within those, and we cover the three aims of the English Hub, pub, um, which Stacey's going to go over now. Thank you, Debbie. So before I go over the three aims of the English Hub, if you could just pop in the chat, please, who you are, so your names, uh, which school you're from, and kind of your role within that skill, just so we can take a register of, of who's attended. If you didn't get to um, subscribe through Eventbrite, could you also put your email address or directly send me your email address so I can just make a note of that as well, please? Um, I'm aware that we had a few emails um, throughout yes, this today that stated that you couldn't actually get a link to the event. So if you could drop me an email, a message with your email, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm just going to go through the aims of the English Hub. So as an English Hub, um, the DfE gives us three aims to improve. Sorry, if you've just joined, would you mind just muting your mics just so there's no feedback and we can all hear you. Lovely, thank you very much. Um, so we, we do have three aims that we need to support schools with um, in terms of kind of funding. So the first one is we um, need to make sure that every child makes speedy progress in phonics and reading. So we support within implementing um, phonics programs. If you haven't already got one, we support um, in ensuring that there's fidelity to that program. We look at decodable reading books. We um, support reading leaders within school to ensure that coaching sessions are happening. So our aim is to get those children and to get your children kind of in line with national and to make sure that every child makes progress within phonics and reading. Our second aim as an English hub is that we work with schools and we provide CPD on developing pupils understanding and use of spoken language. So we're looking at within early years, um, how is language developed? How do you develop that vocabulary? 
um, and how do you support children with in kind of speaking and listening activities. And our third aim is, uh, one of my favourite is to develop a love of reading. So we support reading across the school, so Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2, and how to develop that love of reading, how to um, have appropriate texts, how we look at reading corners, we look at core texts. So um, that's kind of those three aims in general. So the English Hub has been going over the last five years. We haven't had kind of the start that we really wanted to with COVID and lockdowns, um, but we have really kind of developed our offer over the last uh, five years. We started off just supporting skills and now we have a really kind of high CPD offer that is accessed um, country and sometimes even worldwide. So there are a number of ways to engage with us as a hub. So you can attend some of our open events or showcases. Um, these uh, are in school. So we uh, they're in St. Michael's Primary School where you come and watch kind of phonics teaching and we go through areas of um, our three aims um, and we support kind of that way. We also do a lot of medium level support and that's Debbie's um, strength. So she she has mapped out all the medium level support that we're going to offer this year, um, including medium support that's led by her, but also medium uh, level support that is led by external people. So we do have people like Adam Bushnell come in, Teresa Kremen, who'll come and do things. Um, and then also we have partner schools. So at the minute we have got, I want to say 22, just over 20 partner schools who we supported with phonics this year. Um, four of those are all with three partner skills who we supported last year um, and the rest are new partner skills this year who we, are, who we give intensive support to um, in terms of kind of phonics. So we go in and we support them for uh, six days. Um, our support model. So this is our support model. Um, and this is kind of what we offer. So we try to get as many skills engaged as possible from our areas. Like I said, they can attend, you can attend an open event. And in that open event, there will be an opportunity for you to start an action plan. If we feel that you meet some of the criteria, then you might be entitled to an audit from the English Hub where we will come in for a day and have a look at your phonics, your early reading, um, the speaking and listening, the language, um, the love of reading. And then using that information, you may potentially become a partner skill in the future. We also have that medium level support where um, that is free. It's open to everyone. Um, like I said, the CPD runs, so there's reading leader training, um, phonic screening check training, lots, lots of kind of high quality training. There's network events where we can talk and discuss and give up to date information, um, engagement events. And then we also have some tailored programs. So at the minute we're running, we, last year we run uh, ran Reading for Pleasure through the OU. And then this year we're kind of looking at Voice 21 uh, and doing some of those as well. So we offer a really vast range to support skills. So everyone, uh, um, any skills, no matter where, what kind of level you're at, you can engage with the hub at, uh, in some respect. So we mentioned this a little bit, an open event. So um, this open event where is where you come into St. Michael's. You will um, look at phonics teaching um, and it's time for kind of you to reflect on teaching within your skills um, linked to the three M's that we talked about before. Um, we give skills an audit tool. So this is then to start an action plan. So then we give you time within the open event to think of an action plan and we're there to support you within the action plan. So coming away from the open event where we, we've talked and we've had a look, um, you might think that you need to do other things in your skill so we can support that with an action plan. And like I said, we can offer feedback on the action plan. You can email us if you want to. Using that information, some skills will be given an opportunity to re receive a full audit, um, kind of depending on the need of your school. 
which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and then from that, some we might have some partner skills who will work with um, literacy specialists and receive support from those. So how do you get engaged? How do you become kind of a partner skill? How would you have an audit? So what you would do is, first of all, you can self-refer um, within the um, link that you got either yesterday or today, there will have been a self-referral form. So the more information that we can have on your skills, the easier it is to see if you can be um, kind of engaged with us and a partner skill. Um, in terms of the referral as well, so you could become, you could get support, so you could get an audit if you are referred from um, the local authority. Sometimes local authorities refer skills. Um, we've had skills that have been referred um, by the diocese. So if you get a referral from an external partner, then we can kind of help and support and see what we're going to get. Your phonic scores. Um, so if your phonic scores are below national then that is also kind of um a way that you can engage with us and get more support um also it doesn't have to be so it, it sometimes we've had it where last year where we didn't have those phonic scores that it kind of in 2021 but it was low for skills sometimes we've, we've been able to engage with that when we're looking at phonic scores, we normally do um, a three year average. So we'll be looking at 2018, 2019 um, and 2022 phonic scores. So if you can provide us with those, then we can have a look and see if your phonic scores be look, fall below national so that then you can engage with us. Your pupil premium. If your pupil, if you've got high pupil premium and it is above national, then also that is um, how you could get an audit from us um, and get support from us. Ofsted, um, if you are requires improvement or below, then that is also kind of a trigger that you can get support from us as well. If you're an opportunity area. And also any other information. So sometimes new heads, new reading leads, lots of changes, um, academization, lots of things like that might also affect kind of your phonic scores um, and your and, and any support. So um, that is kind of the things that we look at when we are looking at whether you are able to have an audit or even some funding. So I've talked about an audit. Um, what does the audit entail? Now, when people say, oh, can you come and do an audit? A lot of them are kind of put off a little bit. An audit is um, a very um, laid back process. It is for the skills information only. Um, and I know that once we've been into skills, we get really good feedback to say that it's been a really productive day because it's made them think about reading and phonics. Um, and yes, we do go away and they do have lots of things that they need to kind of put in place, but it is a lot of discussion. So usually it would be two members of the English Hub team who would come out and do an audit on your school. And that could be myself, um, could be Debbie, um, could be some of our LSs. So it's normally two members of the English Hub that would come out. And it varies on how long it would take. So we do plan the whole day, but sometimes we do get it quick, uh, done quicker than a whole day. On the day, we, we have a look, we do an agenda before we come, and then on the day we do do phonics observations. So if you are doing um, Read Write Ink within your school, what we would like to see is the um, speed sound sessions within each group. If you're doing Sounds Write, our little wonder, we do like to see 10 minutes of kind of the whole class teaching, and the same with any other phonics programme. We do like to just have a look at that to see if there's fidelity to the scheme. We will observe intervention if um, teaching assistants or teachers who take them are happy with that or if the children are fine with doing that. If not, we do have a discussion around intervention, interventions, things like how long do they happen? How often do they happen? Who takes them? Um, are they mapped out? 
what's taught in them. We um, have an assessment discussion. So we look at kind of your phonics. So we look at how that's tracked, how you assess um, within phonics, within the years and within year two phonics. We look at decodable readers. I'm more than happy to go and have a look at them. It's lovely to go and see the decodable readers in. If not, sometimes we just have a chat to see, um, have you got the right decodable readers in? Um, how are they organised? How are they sent home? And then from that, we have feedback, which we give to you, and it just goes to you only, and that's kind of your basis to um, produce an, an action plan from them. And like we said before, like we have on the open events, if you need any help with the action plan, then um, we are more than happy to do that. And that audit tool is part of the report from the English Hub. So partner skills, we've talked about briefly about partner skills. So we had when we started, we have had wave one and wave two partner skills. So we had 27 skills. Um, in total. Wave one lasted a little bit longer, so they were with us for three years, um, and wave two were with us for two years. Usually, if you are a partner school, you will be with us for two years. So you, in the first year, you would get six days um, of intensive support from a, a literacy specialist who is specialised within your phonics programme. And then within the second year, you would have a more tailored um, three days with a literacy specialist. We have four wave three skills currently, so they are on their second year with us. So they, at the minute, they will be having three days of support and we have 20 wave four skills. So we've got 24 skills in total at the minute. A partner skill will receive funding. So as a partner skill, you receive um, £6,000 worth of funding that is to be spent on training, first of all. So that needs to be the priority um, resources, um, decodable reading books. So it has got to be spent on your phonics programme. Um, the first focus for us is phonics. So when we go in, we look at phonics and a lot of our kind of within the first year, it is focusing on, on that phonics to make sure that the teaching is to the highest standard to make sure everybody's trained, um, to make sure that interventions are in place, to make sure that coaching sessions happen. Um, you will have literacy specialist support, so you will get six days and our literacy specialists, we ensure that they are specialised within the phonics programme within your school. So if kind of you're a read write ink school, then we have somebody who's trained in read write ink. If you are sounds right, then we have people who's trained in sounds right. Our literacy specialists are in school. They are teachers. They are teaching phonics day in, day out also. Um, so, so they know kind of the restraints and the practicalities about things as well. It can be virtual or face-to-face. -face. We've, we've hopefully moved away from virtual. I know that sometimes towards the end of the year, we did a couple of virtual ones as a catch-up, um, but they would normally be face-to-face. -face. Um, we, we like to come in, we like to do those observations on those phonics, um, get to speak to the reading lead face-to-face -face and the head teacher. And there's also ongoing involvement from the hub. So yes, you do get those six days worth um, of support from the hub, but also they are there, um, literacy specialists and myself and Debbie are there at the end of an email. We have lots of skills who email us with questions about things, looking for training, those kind of things. So we are, we are there to kind of support you with, with any needs. So a literacy specialist day, so if you were to become a partner skill, if you think that you would qualify for a partner skill, then um, an agenda is, is sent out um, and that kind of has the running of the day, which phonics group we're going to go and watch, which and interventions are we going to go and watch, who are we going to support. 
Um, so in terms of support, so what we like to do is we like to support the reading leader. So our job is to prepare the reading leader within your school to be able to do that job without us. Um, so we give them all the support they need to be able to do coaching, to be able to track, to be able to monitor. Um, we also like to support staff within their teaching um, and, and teaching assistance to make sure that the, the teaching is the highest of, of quality. A big part of the Literacy Specialist Day is to do those observations. Um, in terms of getting standards up, we know that it has to be the, that high quality teaching. So we make sure that we, when we go in, we observe all staff teaching um, phonics. We do coaching. So we have a look. There might be some staff who in, uh, are not as confident in some aspects of the programme. We will sit and do coaching with those. We also like to coach those staff really, really um, requires involvement from the senior leadership team. So um, sorry, my internet just went off there. Um, so it's to make sure that, um, that the head teacher is there for the initial meeting, at least, um, and the end of the day, so that we can feed back what, um, what has gone on in the day. Um, it's also uh, sometimes we've been in where um, the deputy head has been involved. Um, the more the merrier. We're really happy with anybody who comes in. We we find we find that schools who have um, senior leadership team involved are the ones who are most successful within the program. When we come into schools, we um, support and have a look at the challenge checklist. Now, the challenge checklist is a really important document. Um, it has lots of the areas that Ofsted would look at if it was going to be a deep dive, when you're having your deep dive and reading. So um, we just make sure that the skill is complete in all aspects of the challenge checklist. So the challenge checklist has a different area. So the first one would be when we come in, we need to ensure that skills teach with fidelity to a programme. Um, so we know that there's 31 validated schemes at the minute. So um, it's having a look, making sure that you've got a, a kind of a programme in place. We need to, um, we look at making sure that in reception, there is a strong start. So when do you start your phonics teaching in reception? Okay, that is one of the, the that I said, I'll, I'll look at when do you start your phonics teaching? Um, how often is it taught? When is it taught? How long is it taught for? We then make sure and look at your decodable reading books. So we look to make sure that they follow your um, SSP programme, that the, you're, you're not mixing and matching, that they um, follow the programme as well in the correct order. Like we said before, a lot of our work is building the team of that expert reading teacher, so supporting and coaching. In the afternoon, a lot of our work is to look at those lowest 20% children. We track those lowest 20% children when in lessons. We look at them, we see if they're making progress, see if they're engaged. We then make sure that we look at them in an intervention and, and having a look at those assessments to see if they have made progress. We look at building, talking and listening into activities across the whole day. So um, having a look, seeing, um, seeing what's in place within kind of your school and sort of providing suggestions on those. And also we um, develop pupils listening, comprehension and language by reading aloud and talking about stories, poems and nonfiction books. So we can look at your core text and map them out. We can look at reading corners and see if there's high quality texts in there. 
like I've said before, we do an extensive medium level support. Debbie has been really busy putting things out and planning things. Um, we are almost there with our CPD brochure, which we will send out to schools. Um, the good thing with our medium level support is it's all free. Okay, everything is free. Um, so please, please, when you get that brochure, have a look, book onto things, share it with staff. Um, there's a lot of things there um, that are really useful. So you can see there, there's things like interventions. So there'll be some medium level support coming up on interventions, um, reading leader training, um, having a look at becoming a storyteller. There's even things there for specifically for teaching assistants and their role within phonics. Um, so it's kind of, it's really, really useful. So please, I, I can't say stress enough to share that with staff once you get it. So that was a quick, a very quick overview of kind of the English hub, what we do and our offer. Um, like I said, if you don't feel that you qualify for an audit because your phonics are too high or you're an outstanding school, um, Drop us the self-referral anywhere. We can have those discussions um, and see. But if not, definitely you can engage with us, us through medium level support. So um, if, if kind of what your next steps go away, discuss St. Michael's English Hub with your team. Um, just talk about what we can offer. Attend an open event. So we do have some face-to-face -face open events coming up in November, um, which we will send out. So if you feel that you want to come and have a look and have more of a chat, then please kind of attend one of those. Um, talked about CPD. So book onto any of our free um, CPD. Email. Um, we are there at the end of an email at any point. And then audit. So if you put in your self-referral form, I will go through those, look at it and kind of support you and see if you um, are entitled to an audit or even um, some financial help. So partner skills would get, like I said, £6,000, um, but we do have some leeway to support skills within kind of match funding and things like that. So that is all from me. Um, I know that kind of we, we have finished early. If there is any questions, please ask. And I don't know, I think Debbie's been watching the, the chat and hopefully answering anything that's been kind of coming through on the chat. Stay on the line, stay here if you want to ask any questions. Um, if you're not sure about anything, if you're not sure what support that you might get from the English Hub, um, we we are here um, and we will stay on, on the line if you need anything. Debbie, have I missed anything else? No, I don't think so, Stacey. I think that was brilliant. Thank you so much. Um, like Stacey said, if there's anything that you would like to check out now while we're both here, feel free to ask. Um, also, if there's anything that you feel that your school needs in terms of CPD, feel free to pop that in the chat because the dates that I've got are secured. However, there are some other dates available where I could add in further CPD sessions and it'd be ideal to know what your school needs because if your school needs it, I dare bet 100 other schools need it as well. So you can pop that in the chat as well. So... Thank you, everybody. Like I said, if you've got any questions, please just stay on and then we can ask answer them um, when kind of when you want. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Well, Claire, get that self-referral form filled in and we will most definitely be there to help you with your phonics. <coughs>